water. When the run, water runs out. When the water runs out, picture getting up one morning, turning in the vacuum, and getting nothing but a gurgling. Gurgle. This happened in 2014 in a part of California, famous for its fruits and vegetables. Years of drought, they meant there meant little rainfall. So to irrigate their crops, farmers plunged. Pumped huge amounts of groundwater from under the land. The result: some two sta, some two thousand dry wells, even with rain. Experts warn that the stories of groundwater there will not end soon. Unfortunately, California isn't the only place with the with the water crisis. What and where is groundwater? What and where is groundwater? Many of us glance at the globe, and are fooled into thinking the planet holds plenty of water for all our needs. Most of its water is in our oceans. However, its salt, its salt, contain, con, content, makes it undrinkable. And unless, and useless for watering crops, fresh water needs keep us alive. Because less than three percent of Earth's water is fresh. Of that small percentage, polar ice caps and glaciers lock up almost seventy percent. The surface water is in, in our rivers, lakes, and ponds make up. Just zero to three percent of our freshwater supply. Scientists estimate that the whooping ninety-nine percent of Earth's usable water is groundwater. Groundwater is is freshwater that flows slowly underground. Most of it is stored beneath land and aquifers. Underground layers of rock, gravel, and sand that retain groundwater, like huge sponges. Rain and melting snow percolate very slowly into the sur- surface soil and rock to feed to feed the aquifer aquifers. Aquifers can reach down thousands of feet and, and extend for thousands of miles. They feed our la- rivers, lakes, and wetlands. Their fresh water also irrigates the best farming regions in the world. For more than a century, people have been pumping billions of ga- gallons of water from underground to drink, grow crops, and meet other needs. Even during droughts, communities and farms located above aquifers can draw groundwater to service, survive, and thrive. This water source keeps much of the humanity. From going hungry and thirsty, the trouble is that groundwater levels are falling fast. Water crisis threatens wa- food supplies and peace. People near and far must conserve this life-giving resource. Too many straws. Research now shows people are pumping groundwater faster than nature can replace it. According to experts, water levels has disla- declined. And almost three third, two thirds of the well across the United States since 1995. Experts predict that the Ogala Aquifer below the Great Plains could be 70 percent depleted by the year 2060. Competition for groundwater is causing conflict in some farming areas in Northern California, for example. Winemakers grow heresies er- of grapes, which require large amounts of water. Many of those growers have drilled deep wells to make sure they can get the groundwater they need. Without it, they might go out of business. Many smaller farms and homeowners nearby, though, blame these vine vineyards for sucking up too much groundwater. They all share, while their shallow 
shallower wells go dry. In many ca cases, the smaller property owner cannot afford to drill deeper wells for themselves. It's as if everyone has their straws in the same drink. But some farms and businesses can pay for more and longer straws. The situation raises big questions. Who wants groundwater? How much unsage is fair? Water fights. How fair around the world? Pakistan's arrival. Available water has dropped by almost 75% in the last 60 years. Many of Pakistan put the blame to India, their neighbor in the, to the south. They accuse India for building dams and block rivers, river water that would normally flow to them. They say this has forced farmers in Pakistan to pump more groundwater than India office. Officials say Pakistan has only itself to blame. They thought Pakistan has managed its water poorly. These two countries have fought four wars in the past. Today, both face water shortages and increasing competition for fresh water. The United States nations predict such bad battles over water will only grow worse. If nothing changes, it's estimated the world will fall 40% short of its water needs by 2030. Nearly 2 billion people worldwide would face serve water storages shortages, leading to food shortages and fa famine. In time, shortages like these can even lead, lead to war. Experts warn in some places, lack of water has already forced large numbers of people to leave their homes. In Syria, for example, drought and drove, drought drove rural people into the city. Evidence suggests that this movement, in turn, will start a civil war in 2011. As a result, many Syrians have died. In many places, groundwater is that important. The difference between green farms or dusty field, the matter of life of dead, death. Without water supplies and peop that people can rely on, violence and great suffering threaten to spread as people fight for water sources. Staying out of trouble. There is an old saying, it is easier to stay out of trouble than get out of trouble. This is true about world supply, world, su world, su world supply of groundwater. Dealing with this crisis now will be much easier than dealing it after aquifers run dry. Addressing the crisis requires us a pl to plan ahead. However, one growing threat to the world's groundwater Supply is climate change. Almost all scientists who studied in Earth now agree that it's getting hotter. Climate change may also mean changes in water patterns. For example, regions that rely on regular rainy season may see those she seasons shift. They may see a a change in the amount of moisture those seasons deliver. Fresh water may be hard to come to come by. Another huge challenge is population growth. More than seven million people live in our planet now. That figure is ex expected to reach eleven billion by the year two thousand one hundred. All of us will need water to drink and grow our food. We must we must manage our groundwater now, and we can. Farming smarter. Our best hope is water con conservation. Finding ways to use less water can keep more groundwater in the ground. Improving the way we farm is by far the most important action we can take to conserve groundwater. Experts estimate about 65% of, of the fresh water groundwater of the fresh groundwater Americans pump up. 
pumped to the surface is used to irrigate crops and many forms of irrigation waste the waste water. They spray and sprinkle water on the surface, where much of the much of it is lost by evaporation. Most farms now accept that they cannot keep pumping out so much groundwater. They are using new methods to make sure every crop. Drop counts. Now, new meters mo- monitor moisture in the soil and turn irrigation on and off automatically, wasting less water. Many fruit and nut orchard orchards now bury irrigation pipes. Bury pipes deliver water closer to the tree roots and waste less water. Planting different crops can also conserve groundwater in states such as Kansas and Lo and Lona, Kansas and Lo Loa. Some farms are switching from corn to other crops because corn requires a lot of water. However, corn corn crops earn more money, so many farmers don't want to change. Farmers need need new ways to farm if they don't conserve water. Voluntary empty aquifers will one day force them to. Future future focus: record drought forced California to conserve water. At one point, cities there could fund people five hundred dollars in day a day. If they fail to follow restrictions on washing cars or watering lawns, as a result, water used used them dropped used used there dropped. In just six months, people in California went to using as much as as fourteen gal one hundred forty gallons per person to just seven sixty seven gallons a day on average. Nationwide, fifty-seven percent of American households rely on ground groundwater. In rural areas, that figure and more than seven ninety percent. Fortunately, small changes in pumping, plumbing water, and water use can save hundreds of gallons in average American home each week. By installing now, flush toilets, and taking shorter shower, showers. We can use less groundwater. In addition, property owners can save water by replacing thirsty grass lawns with yards that need less water. The motto in California for letting lawns dry, die is pretty can- catchy. Brown is the new green. Saving our groundwater isn't easy. People need to drink. Farmers need to irrigate crops to grow our food. Still, we can be smarter. About how we use this resource, birds, both now and far into the future.